Hey guys, we're back. Hopefully this is working. Sorry about the technical difficulties there. Yeah, I first knocked over my um, embossing fluid and made a horrific mess just as I was starting to show things. So anyway, those are the ones that I showed them mm -hmm. at first. So we're just going to kind of sort of start over and hope for the best. And let us know if anybody's here and can hear us because I'm not going to start till I can tell because um, if it's not working, I don't know. But I did let everybody know the group. Okay. So, so we're on now? Yeah, we're recording. So, oh, so hopefully, now they can hear me. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, let us know if you're there, guys. If you can jump yeah, on. I'm, I'm going to wait a second to see because I have no idea what that was. Last week we had a little problem too, and I I never did see it on this end, and it, it seemed to come out again. It's not a internet issue. We have plenty of internet, so um, there we go. Hey guys. All right. All right. Is the there. video okay? Is it? Let's see, I'll put my hand up here. Is it? Make sure it's not frozen for you yeah. guys. Yeah. So I have to start over. Lauren will delete the last one. Yes, I will go delete the. The last one. So I'm sorry to bore you, but I'm going to have to. But maybe more there. people can make it. Maybe I'll do a better job this time. <laughs> you <laughs> won't spill anything. I hope not. That that really threw me. And then I don't know what. Then this thing came up and it said it, it disconnected somehow. I remember that used to happen to Javi sometimes. And I don't know what she did. Um, but she was able to fix it quick. Then I saw this grid come up. It says, click here to continue recording. So I did. And I was continuing recording, but you guys were Seems all saying it was, it was frozen. You couldn't see it. So I, hopefully that does not happen again because we've had some nice success here lately. We've been able to do this. And, and uh, so anyway. But this week what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how to colorize. Okay, good. Thank you, Debbie. She says okay, it's working. Good, great. Um, I want to show you how to colorize the little frosted flowers, which look, you know, like this. And we're going to do the rice paper, too. And we're going to put the rice paper over some of the hearts. So some of you already, you got the first part and yeah. what we were doing with and the And if I have to, you know, I'm, I'll make this little class go out three or four issues because I want you to get this. It's so much fun, guys. Oh, good, Annalise. It, good. It, it, it's, hi, honey. Thanks for coming back. Um, I, it's just so much fun. So, so, so much Yeah, fun. like I, I told her, I don't know if you guys heard me on the last video. I feel like these are almost like, they don't have to be so over the top girly. Mm -hmm, yeah. But I feel like, like aside from being like hat pins or stick pins, I feel like this could kind of be like a new age and like a new trend and like take it even into like the bridal and use them for like boutonnieres. Because they have done that. So like, I feel like mm -hmm. that'd be really cool. There's a lot of things you could do with it. And you're limited by only one thing, guys. Yourself yourself your imagination because i always get like why does everybody want me to show them how to do this i mean i'm not brilliant i taught myself to do this and all it was was just playing you know but i guess you know that's just it everybody wants to be shown and so okay insofar as i'm able to do it i'm, I'm not too good at it anymore you guys i just i get too fumbly and can't remember nothing but i will keep going as long as i can how's that Hey guys, we got Darcy, we oh, got Joanne, cool. Mary, Mary Colleen. Oh, Mary McMahon's here. I haven't seen you for a while, Mary. So glad you're here. So anyway, so we're going to, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, show you how I put color on these little, you know, frosted flowers. And there are tons of ways. Last time some, I had said some use alcohol inks and acrylics. Somebody said they use Rit dye. Um, there were a bunch of suggestions how to do it. So they're... There are lots of ways to do it. All this is is how I did it to make mine look like this. So isn't that pretty? I mean, that looks like a frosted art glass or something. I think it does anyway. There's a blue one. That one got a little goobered up on the end. There's a pretty teal colored one. That's a little bit more matte. Um, here's one that I did put some gold on the edges of it. And it's a purple, see? I put gold on. That's Gilder's Pace, as a matter of fact. That's how that got there. So we're just going to kind of play around and see what happens here. So we're going to do that. And also I talked about these hearts, which I have down the tissue decoupage on one side. 
If you want to do it on both sides, you can, whatever. But I'll just show you real quick how I do it because it's so, so simple. Super simple. If you have not tried it before, you might prefer to have someone show you. Well, I can do that. So we will. So let's just move on. That's what I want to do today. Then tomorrow when we come back together again. Oh, hey, Sean. Thanks for coming. You would have missed us entirely because we were on for like, what, 10 minutes, guys? And then something screwed up. But So we're going to hope for better this time. But anyway, so we're just going to mo mostly do the tissue decoupage today and the frosted flowers and I'll show you some things that I've done and throw out a few other suggestions to you. Then I'm going to be working on this tonight so that we can get together again tomorrow, which would be Friday, December 8th, I think. And whatever that Friday is. And then we'll um, go on from there and uh, we'll be able to um, try and um, put some together. We'll see how far we get with that. And if that works out good, then we'll uh, maybe even add a third day on. Just have to make sure everything's going to be working good. So, okay, so this is, you know, ideas. I, do, I have to just say I love this. I love this look with that on there. So, and then I did talk to you a little bit about um, uh, kits. And I am going to have kits. They're $57.95. Hey, Lise. And then um, that includes shipping in the U.S. and a whole bunch of these stick pins and hat pins, body pins, all these parts and pieces that you need, the flowers, and I mean, all kinds of stuff. It's a really good deal. It's a really, really good deal. And I'm going to put them together for you personally. They're going to be at pre-sale. So you want to start paying for them now because the stuff's not all here. It's on its way. It's all been ordered. It's all on its way. So, you know, you may not get this until, you know, your Christmas vacation or something. But, you know, a lot of times people like a little project like this for their holidays because they have some downtime and quiet time. They want to start a little project. Well, you'll have it for that. It's just we have to get the stuff in here and I have to put it together. And it takes time to put kids together. So I kind of need to do the pre-sale to see how many we can sell and how much stuff I'm going to have to put aside for you. And uh, if you want to go on the site and pick your own stuff out, that's fine too. But I think you'll get more this way. And you want to go looking for it. So it's, up, it's all up to you. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. So let me just go on and show you how to put this color on here. Now, I use embossing powder and embossing ink. And what happened is I went to daub, dauber some down on my tray and <laughs> the top came off and it went rolling everywhere so i was telling you about how this stuff is so good and we only have a little bit left i'm gonna have to go snag one for myself because now i got half of it all over my table but anyway here's how i do it so here's a piece it's just you know just the stuff the frosted acrylic and i just dab it around you yeah, now it's nice it's going everywhere now and i just go down you know this way just be sure I get a cover, you know, anywhere that I want to have color, I'll cover it. Okay, so I get that pretty good. So now I've got, um, sticking everything. What a mess. Okay, so I'm, this is a dry brush. So now, the I you know, if you've not done this before and you don't really have a lot of ideas of your own, you really need to get stuff in play, a kit's going to be great for you. <laughs> I have to laugh because I'd almost not, like, you know, I'd rather not make them because they're a lot of work. But at the same time, I want you to be able to do it. And I don't want you to have to hunt around all this. I get all these carts in the back of our website that are abandoned. And I think it's because people go looking for things and they can't quite put it all together what they need. And they just like say, oh, forget it. So anyway, because you can see now I'm just kind of dusting this on. So I will do that for you. Oh, it's coming out nice. Oh, it's coming out nice. So I'll be doing that for you and you won't have to worry about it. How about that? And honestly, I don't mind packing stuff up. That's how I spend most of my days, watching movies and packing stuff up. <laughs> or working on a new project. Or writing a newsletter. That's what I do. Okay, so I got the front. That's pretty. Can you see? And sometimes you might want to go over and, you know, do a couple coats. 
You won't necessarily have to put more embossing uh, ink down, just this. Okay, so now I'm going to go inside. I might have to put a little bit more, though, because um, I've been touching it. You know, so just try to hold it by the edges. And then, you know, if you find you've knocked some off, you can go back when it's dry and just put another bit on there. You'll be fine. I didn't find that I needed to do that much of that the other day. But this is pretty. Oh, my goodness. This is pretty. And then if you want it to have a little bit more glow around the edges, what I do is I take Gilder's Paste. I, take, I use this one, Rich Gold. We have lots of it on the site. And um, it... Uh, can be put around the edge with a finger and then kind of dust it off and it's really glowy and pretty so you, you know sometimes people when they go to see how much some of these supplies cost i'm like oh you know man but you know what if you go to a craft store it's going to cost even more this stuff is kind of up there now but you know if you buy smart you'll have like your stash your main stash and then you add to it on your own here and there a little bit so it's not necessarily so bad well, I'm going to do those kits for 57 no, 50 no. Yeah, 57.95. Someone already bought one. Did they? Yeah, they just talked to Jordan. Oh, good. Well, that's good because um, just we'll go ahead and do the pre-sale and get you to buy them ahead of time. And then as soon as they're ready, I'll be sending them out. I deleted the old video, so no uh, confusion. Lauren, you're wonderful. Isn't she wonderful, guys? <laughs> Let's give Lauren a big hand. Oh, goodness. Not so, so now, much. So now I have a little bit of that embossing uh, ink on here because I had some that rolled over. So I'm going to see what happens now if I put it on this way. And I'm not liking it as much. I'm just really not. Now, Lauren was saying, are you going to show them how to do it with water? And I'm like thinking, oh, boy, I probably should have, right? You I can just, make it kind of paint-like or a little bit of a paint. Oh, you can definitely make a paint out of perfect Depending pearls. on how much water. So I would start with the tiniest amount because you can always add more. Right. So, because if you keep having to add the perfect pearls, then you're going to waste and that gets messy. Mm -hmm. And There are, if you want to look them up, I don't have one. Or did we? Did you do one on how to make it into paint? Um, I can't remember. I mean, I have used perfect pearls in my videos. I don't, know, oh, if yeah, was, you have I don't know if it was specifically to use it this as a, a paint. Because I also have one on lunar on the lunar paste yeah. as well. Here's another way that you can, <laughs> not you can, you you can work it out when you pull it out with a sponge brush. <laughs> you guys. Good. What are they saying? They're too You're much. the best. <laughs> You're too She's much, a big no. help, let me tell you. Um, I don't know if you got the question or not. Um, someone was asked, let's see, who was it? Can you oh, Mary. If yes, you can. you can sometimes. Depends. What you need to get is mineral spirits from the hardware store, and then you need to chop it all up in little pieces. And then you would just kind of wet it just a little bit with the mineral spirits, and then uh, let it sit for a little bit. And then go back and start mixing it up. And yes, you can get some back. That's the bad thing about Gilder's Paste. If you buy it, you have it on your shelf for a year or two, and you go to use it. It may have dried out in the can because it'll do that. And that's the sad thing. Thank you, guys. I love you So guys. you need to go ahead and use it when you get it. Um, also, um, this really came out cute because it's almost like transparent. Yeah. This is a different look. Okay, Mary, if you want one, there's a few different ways. Um, so they are not going to be on the site or anywhere like that for purchase. You need to privately message Brenda either through Facebook Messenger you can email her or you can call our shop or you can email Jordan as well. Mm -hmm. um, so let's tell them those numbers. Yeah, so Jordan the, at bsuboutiques.com. Uh, you can call us at 330-886-0052. Or you can email her at or you can email bsu1441 at aol.com. Or you Private can message, message me on Facebook. App. Yeah, on Facebook. That's the best place. Because she's on there a lot. Because I'm on there a lot, and I'll see you the fastest. But if not, then I would say the second best way is probably to just call. Yeah, or call. Someone just called a couple, a few minutes ago or contacted Jordan and, and said that they wanted one. So those are yeah. kind of your ways of getting one. Yeah, and you know, you can, getting one. Um, we can do, send you a PayPal invoice if you like to do it that way. Or if you'd just rather give us a credit card and he'll process Then that. I would say call and he can yeah. process it for you over the and phone. And he'll be here today till about 5, 530. 
And then uh, tomorrow he'll be the same. And he comes in about 9.30 in the morning. Um, That's EST time, Ohio yeah, time. Eastern. Liquid Can mineral. you use liquid mineral? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. No, I, I'm not. No. Mineral spirits and mineral is two different things. No, you got to use mineral spirits, which, you know, some people don't like that because it can make you high as a kite, too. You got to be careful. So do it where you have good ventilation. But that's that's how the manufacturer told me to do it years ago. But they have better packaging for it now. See this thing? I have to keep blotting it out because it got wet with the... But it's coming out cute, too. And the thing is, is when it dries, if I'm not liking it, I can buff it out. And maybe add... Or add more bit, color. Add a little... Yeah, add more color or add some gilders or whatever. So, I mean, there's a lot, a lot of stuff I could do. I could show you how to do the gilders because I have dry ones here. So, um... Maybe I I'll wouldn't just, mind seeing the lunar paste, too. Well, I'll if do... If we have I'll, a minute. Yeah. Oh, we got time. I'll do that. <sighs> Okay, not a problem, Mary. Yeah, he's out there in the office now if you want to give him a call. Yeah. But if you want to wait till after vi the video, that's fine, too. Yeah, so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I got, can you see? I, I opened it up. This is the this rich gold. what it gold. looks like inside. Some of them you will find seem a little drier than others, but I found that the metallic ones, silver and gold especially, stay in place. softer. Oh, you know, okay. To use. So I like using, I like really, I like Gilder's Paste most of all as, um, an accent like, color. Okay, so the pigment is more... I like it as an accent color. Now, you can colorize anything the whole way you would paint with it. You can make... I have a video on making paint out of Gilder's Paste. So it's not good as the... For maybe the necessary, the base color, like the full all-over color, you, it's probably better for it over depends. top of it, something? It depends, you know, what you want to do. But I like it for an accent color. You're going to see that in just a minute because that's what I'm doing right now. Another thing you can do with Gilder's Paste is you can take a little bit, chop it up, and put clear nail polish over it. And let it sit for a little bit and go back and mix it up, and you can make like an enamel paint out of it. It's really cool. I have a video. If you want to go back about nine years ago. Oh, goodness. It's a while ago. Much younger woman. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, but this is what it looks like. And I know I'm being clumsy today, and that's because I'm just not having a great day with this stuff. But this is coming out, and you can see. Can you see how it's got this little sheen to it now? Can you see that? My hand really doesn't look this bad. It looks like I got some kind of I know. Of it's just I'm trying to get the brightness hang, hang going. Hang so. or whatever. I don't know. Because it is pretty dark outside yeah, already. It so is. It is. We're losing our light. Lighting. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody calling Jordan. Okay. We should have taken that off back here. Oh, well. He's picked, Somebody's he on the up. line. Yeah, he already answered. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so here's another one. This He's, one's kind of a blue, so you can see. Right. You're off camera. I'll just take it. Oh, okay, there you go. So now I, this is why I can't do this myself very <laughs> good more. You know, people, these, a lot of these content creators, they just hop on any old time talk to and they're just so natural, like podcast or something they act, but I, I just, I don't know. There was a time. There was a time. I, I was very good at that, but now I'm just, I'm losing my confidence. I think that's. Yes, that. we're back, Yolyanka. <laughs> Yes, we're back. We don't give up easy. So see, there's another one. So that changed the look of that all together, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, I never did put it over clear. So maybe we should just go ahead and do that, huh? See, what does it look like on a clear one? Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. This is a real pretty kind of a bridally, blingy type look. Maybe. Depending on what you put with it. This gilder's paste is the rich gold. This is rich gold. In case you want to And know. I've got silver here, too, so I'm maybe going to try a little of that. We'll oh, yeah, you do a uh, two-tone. Yeah. That'd be nice. Okay, let me actually, because I was zoomed in. Let me zoom and, oh, you know, another thing you could do. So it's, I just put a little bit on. But you can see, you know, kind of the look you're going to get. Mm -hmm. Another thing you could do is if you have these hearts that you've done up that are you know, decoupage on one side. So what you could do is get a little bit of this on your finger and just go around. Can you see how quick that took that? Oh, yeah, give it like a finished edge. Uh-huh, with the gold. 
And then I'll just go over the back a little bit with just a little bit of a touch. Mary asked, do you need to seal it? Um, yeah, yeah, and I'll show you what I do. I won't be able to do it here, but I'll show you what I use. I'll give you some ideas. If any of you have the Swelligant sealant and it's still good, it should be, as long as you've kept it closed up. Anyway, yeah, I put this around the edges then. But you gotta be careful you don't get it over the top because then it kind of messes up your decoupage look or your china paint look. So probably what I will do is um, I might add some more gloss uh, Mod Podge to the top if it went dry. Could even go over this too. So, but that's that's a thought you could do with that. Okay, so now let's have a look at it with uh, the silver. That might be kind of fun, huh? And then I'll do the lunar stuff. What a mess. Oh man, we'll do it if I can get it open. Yeah, sometimes they're a little bit hard to open. So you can see how this one is, you know, a little bit dried out. I've had this one for a couple years and I've used it some. I always get it tight, pretty tight. Let's see. Yeah, this is fine. The silver of all of them is the one that it seems to me to be the least likely to dry out. That's what I have found over the years. I've been using um, gilders for a long, long time. Do the colors maybe harden out faster than the metallics? Sometimes, like patina, it will get dry, but you can bring it back pretty easy, too. I'm, I've not lost a thing of patina, but sometimes some of the other colors, yeah. You just need to keep going using it, like, and maybe check it once in a while if you're not using it a lot to make sure it's not getting dry. If it is, what you can do is you can just take and put a couple of drops of the mineral spirits on top of like the cake and then take a brush that you can throw out just kind of wipe it over it in there and then seal it up tight and that'll help it too not to get all you know nasty so that's another thought this came out pretty look at that well it looks kind of dark and yucky there but and, uh, let me see if i can brighten it up a little bit you know what um, let me take it off my finger hand can you show them that way can you see the glow on it it's kind of a blue silver color it really is very pretty mm -hmm. yeah we're losing our light here that's the biggest yeah. problem we've got our big lights on but we usually do videos earlier in the day so probably should keep that in mind but tomorrow we are going to do it at 4 30 because i'm going to need the time okay so yeah you could do it with that too it's very pretty it's you know it's just one of those things that you want to play with so the packages of these flowers on the website, I can't, I think they're seven ninety five or something. I'm take this one. I'm gonna. And um, there's like, I think 50 pieces in there. So you get a good bit. Where did I put the lid for this thing? Let's see. Can you see that? Oh, it's on the bottom door. Let's okay. Let the look with the gold accents. Isn't it pretty? I'm try to bring yeah. it closer to the light a little bit. Yeah. Here, so you guys can. But when I seal it with guys, and there's a number of things you can use. If you have the little bo bottles of Swelligant from before when we used to carry, we still have some Swelligant, and it's still good. It's not nothing wrong with it. Um, but uh, of course, that's a big long thing. You know, Christy Friesen sold that product to someone else, and then they don't want to do it now. And so the Avis company has it, and so. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think you'd have to buy it retail from them, and they are really spendy, as far as I'm concerned. And there's very spendy for me to buy it from them, so I would have to end up charging what they charge. Trying to charge. make it so you can see it. So I, I don't know. I guess maybe it would be fine with you, but I, I don't know. So what I did is I went to a company by the name of. Let me see. Let's see it. Maybe. Yep. We got it. Okay. Sculpt Nouveau, see? Okay. Sculpt Nouveau is swelling it. That is the product that she rebottled, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's called private labeling, and there's nothing wrong with that. Perfectly fine. I could do it if I wanted to. I just don't sell enough of this stuff to warrant having to get a great big jug of it and then pour it into little bottles and stuff and have to relabel it. I just, I just don't really want to do that. So anyway, I get these bigger ones, which are eight ounces. This is a satin coat and I also have a mat. What we had before was the mat. It's in a big spray bottle. I love, 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 love this product. 
but in the bigger bottle and the better, you know, packaging with the good sprayer on it, it costs more. It's like... Oh, don't mind me. I know, it's like, I think 28 bucks or something like that, but it'll last you a long time. And if you don't want to use a sprayer and have it going all over, you can just take this top off. I'll show you. It just comes right off. And you can pour it into a little vessel and use it that way. It'll last you a long time. So I have the satin coat and I have the matte and I have the Tiffany green patina, which was my favorite always, and the darkening, which I can't live without. So we have all three, all four of them. So like if you were to invest in all of them, it'd be, you know, I don't know, 100 bucks, 120, something like that. But then you know, we always have those great coupons. So, you know, you could save something that way. But you'll have it for a long time. You'll be good to go. Those are the main ones. Those are the main ones I used. The other ones I enjoyed, but I'm not doing dioxides. I just don't see the point. There's too many ways to get color on stuff without it. So, but I love this. And if you're tempted, you won't be sorry you got it. We don't have a lot of it in stock now, but I can get more quickly. So that's not a big deal. All right. I know so Joanne got some. You wanted to know if you could seal it. That's what I use. Okay. Now you let it get really good and dry. You could also hit it with some Krylon. That also works. I just like that better. The Smart Cook, I like it better. But, uh, you know, there are any number of sealants out there that will work for Just you got to be sure that it's perfectly dry so it doesn't remove any color. Because some of them, like, if you put, like, spray lacquer over this stuff when it was not quite all the way dry, it would run. And you don't want that. So you want to get it really good and dry and then light mist and coats of the Krylon. If you want to go that way, nothing wrong with that. That's fine. Um, but I just, I prefer the Smart Coat. So I always do a hard sell on it when I bring it out, which is not that often, but it's because it's the best, in my opinion. Okay, let's see. Bless me, she says. Well, thank you. Hi, Jan. Okay, all that's on the website. Yes, it is. You go to the mixed media section um, to where it says resins and sealants and stuff like that. The subcategory. Just click on mixed media and then uh, resins and sealants. And it should be right near. If you can't find it, just let me know and I will send you a link. But I don't think you're going to have trouble. I think you will find it. But don't worry if you can't. I am there to help. That is my job. Even though it's difficult for me to help because I'm not a great helper anymore, but I try. I try real hard. Okay, so that's how I do this. That's how I do it. If you have a better way, you enjoy more like drip uh, dipping it in dye, you know, alcohol ink. Whoops, I'm sorry. Or a writ dye or whatever, then you just do it that way. Nothing wrong with it. What I like about this frosted acrylic, it has kind of like a tooth to it, if you know what I mean. It takes color really well in a number of ways. You know, so it's basically like find what you like and go with it. You know, it's just as simple as that. Oh, I was going to show you Lunar. So I'll get a little bit of that on here. Isn't that beautiful? That's the purple stuff. What do they call it? Is that the crown one? Crown me. Aha, I knew it. Crown me. I knew it. Isn't that wonderful? Looking? <laughs> you know, remember when I had Inca Gold? Some of you guys were with me then. I loved Inca Gold. It was great. It was made by Viva Decor. They're in Germany. Um, I carried it for quite a while, and then I couldn't get it anymore. And then finally I found out when I contacted them, they were not... Uh, they didn't have a distributor in the United States anymore. In fact, they even said to me, um, would you know anybody? I'm like, well, I want to buy some. But that, I think they wanted somebody that was going to buy cases and cases of it. And I was not interested in that. So anyway, I mean, I sold a good bit of it, but not that. I mean, my big thing are parts and brass. You know, that's what I sell a lot of. But the mixed media just goes with it. So I'm going to a little bit on the end of this here. And put it on something. Um, here's a little one. I usually try to start for the inside first. And I will just take my finger on some of this too. Because it's getting kind of... Really, I, I need this. But I don't know. It's got some... Yeah, see that's messing up. Because it's got... Ooh, wait a minute. 
this has got that a um, uh, little bit of that embossing ink on it. So that's looking pretty. So that's another way to do it. <laughs> that pretty. Woo. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with my finger here, cause um. But you can see when I kind of buff this out, wipe it out, how shimmery it gets. It's because it has mica powder in it too. And you can use Perfect Pearls over top of this. In fact, what I've done is I will take something and when this is still wet, the lunar, I will use it as though it was embossing ink. And I'll just go over it and add a little bit of a shimmery color to it, which I think I can do right now. Let's just get this buffed out a little bit better. That's what it'll do. It'll kind, of, it'll kind of pile up and then it'll get like sandy looking or something. And I don't care for that. So let's just get rid of that right now. There you go. All right. So now it's not perfect, but it's good enough for you to see what, what the hay is up here. Okay. So now that got wet too. So that's not going to work. Let's see. What can I do? Well, I'm going to use my finger. If all those fails, use your finger. Okay, so I've got a little bit of that on there. Let's see. See, I think you can see how it gets kind of a little bit sandy, but you can just buff that out with your finger as you go on. So that's pretty too. What would be better is a dry brush, but I don't have one now because I spilled embossing and go all over everything. So that was fun. Let's see if <laughs> I, maybe take the side of this because it's dry. Take the side of I love these. This is my favorite brush right here, these. Okay. So you can see kind of how that looks when you mix that up too. Not perfect, but I think you get the idea. You can make it look really pretty. These two, these pink ones look awesome. I really like them. But yeah, so talking about all that Viva Decor stuff, well, I couldn't get it anymore, so boo-hoo on me. I didn't know what I was gonna get because there was nothing like it until I discovered Lunar Paste. And somebody had told me about it, and I went and I looked at it, I'm like, huh. So I got a few bottles of it, jars of it, whatever you want to call it. And um, one of my suppliers carries it. And um, I went ahead and I applied it, and I'm like, dang. This is just like ink of gold, only better. So, and it lasts longer. I think you get a little bit more for it. So anyway, so that's how I do those. And I've made a perfect mess. But now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you guys how I decoupage one of these little deals without getting a bunch of junk on. So I need to go wash my hands real quick. So Lauren, hop on here and talk to everybody. Oh, oh Betty says she has ink that she purchased in two times. Add one. Yeah, it works out just fine that way, Betty, because it's it's water based. That's why that works. When you have something that's not, then it takes a little bit less around. Okay. Be right back. Talk to me. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna do a little bit of the winter paste myself. Or what if we did? Hmm. I want to take. Did she do the perfect pearl on top of this? I think she may have. That's pretty. Oh, I'm not on camera. Might help if I'm on camera, right? So I don't know where. I love the lunar paste though. And I had a video that I did Lunar Paste on brass stampings. Um, if you go on the YouTube channel, I had a matte black heart. And I Yeah, used, that was pretty. I did. What's that? I'm pretty sure that was Lunar Paste. Now I don't even remember. And I had, um, I think I had a um, paint pen as well. but. Yeah, you can use paint pens too. Yeah, paint you pens know, work. The, some Sharpies work, some don't. You just have to experiment. You have to play. There's yeah. a lot of ways, you know. So if you have things like that, then, you know, take one of the flowers and try it. See what happens. I'm trying to remember if that heart was the um, lunar paste or it could have been the perfect pearls. It was. 
It was perfect pearls. I remember you dusted it on. Yeah, so yeah, I think it was the perfect pearls, actually. So I'm trying to think, but I, oh, you know what? No, I did do the lunar paste, but I did the lunar paste on, okay, so I have a video colorizing with perfect pearls on matte black. On a heart. Oh, she said she can get it in, in Norway. Yeah. But then I also have a video using the lunar paste on the brass stampings, but it's the luggage tag stamping. Mm -hmm. So if you want to look for those, those were probably within the past year or two in, in our videos. They were, they, they were lives on YouTube. Yeah. If you want to see those on different materials. Okay, so this is rice paper, guys. If you've not used rice paper before... It's, it's, you know, it's not like tissue paper. It's a little heavier. But it is still paper. pretty thin. Yeah, as you can see, you can it's see. It's kind the, of had a little bit of a texture to it. Yeah, it. Yeah, the fibers. Yeah. So anyway, so what I do is I'll take my little heart thing and I'll put it up against, I can kind of see through, and kind of get, you know, whatever motif I want on there. You can kind of see through it, so it'll work. So now I'm going to cut. And we have this paper in stock on the site. Yeah, we have a lot of different ones. Yeah. A lot of pretty different styles to choose. Okay, so I'm, I'm just cutting it down a little bit. Okay. So now Oops, what sorry. I need to do is I need to... Um, I've got to find my mod podge here this. And what I'll do is I'll just dump some out. Well, this one's dried up pretty good. Where's that one I had last night? Well, we'll see. This is good. Oh, this works. This is fine. Just dry up around the edge. I love working with stuff like this. This today was not my best day, you know, but to share it. But um, I love working with this kind of thing. Okay, so now. I've got it, and I'm just going to take and put, you know, cover this. Put a little down, you know. That's enough. Now, I'll take my paper and put over that and kind of see, now, where do I want it to, you know, fall? Yeah, with my luggage tags that I did with the lunar paste, I did a little bit of uh, decoupage. Okay, so you can see how I got it on there. It doesn't look like much yet. Okay, and I got it on there. It's holding down, okay? So now I take my, these are, these scissors I love to, I have to get some of these for the side again. I haven't had them for a long time. These Tim Holtz tonic, they're hard to find. Most of the customers don't have them anymore. So now I'm just taking and I'm cutting close to the edge. But I can get them. In fact, I should probably go ahead and buy some of that kind of thing because from that supplier, you have to buy a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff every year. Or they won't sell to you anymore. One of those, you know. So I need to get some more stuff on my account so that I don't lose my account. I would never do that to somebody. I don't know why people have to be like that, you know. But they are. All right, so you can see I got it on here pretty good. So now all I'll do is I will get some of this stuff here. And I'll just go, I'll just use my finger even. Just be careful I don't get any dirt on it. I'm just go around the edge. And I like to get a little bit. Now, I didn't use the gloss. I used the satin. So I might go over it again with gloss. But that's it. That's all I do. If I want some on the back, I can do that too. Can't hurt. And just kind of take your finger. I like the way Mod Podge smells. At least it's not, uh, it's not, uh, noxious. But there you go. It's on there. Let me put it down. See, it's on there. Okay, and what is so nice using this, okay, is, here. See, there's a hole. It's a bead. 
goes right through there. So if you want to use this plane and use it like up toward the top, then you could put like mini assemblage on there. You know, make it look nice that way. Or you can do it, you know, the way I've done on some of my other ones. But it's a bead is what it is. Very pretty too. So that's how you do it. So all there is to it. Just take and cut a piece of small that, you know, you can see where the motif of the paper is going to end up so that you can see where it's going to go on your piece. And then um, that's pretty much it. You cut a little piece off and you put some Mod Podge down so that the paper will stick to it. And then you go and you just cut around it and then you do the top. And voila! There you go. And now you can make all kinds of stuff. Now this one, when I put the gold stuff on it, got a little dark and I'm not liking it so much. Let's see if I can wipe some off. But anyways, you know, that's how... That's how that goes. So basically, you know, you just have to choose whatever. Yeah, your fingers are. They often are, aren't they, Mary? So long as it's stuff, you can get off easy. This water-based stuff, you can get off easy. But like a gilder's paste might take a little bit more work. Although it's not bad. It's not bad to get off. But like alcohol ink? Uh, oh, yeah, that's... Uh, oh. Dye? Uh, you know, yeah, so if you're going to use that, probably better do like gloves or something with it. But I don't like uh, doing gloves on here too much unless I absolutely have to because people have complained. I said, I can't see anything because your gloves. And I'm like, well, honey, I don't know how you expect me to do this. <laughs> they, they, they don't understand. Anyway, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just glad they came out. I'm so glad you guys came back. Yes, thank you. Yeah, Sorry for um, the... Yeah, and, and tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to do the mini assemblage part and put some together. But I want to show you one last thing before... I go today. And this is another cool idea. Um, you know this little guy from the site? This little elephant guy? He, I love him. He's bone. He's hand carved bone and then colorized. So what I did is I got a stick pin and I stuck it right through there. And I need to put a crimp up there, which we'll talk about tomorrow. It might be a little long for the stick pin, I don't know. But anyway, you could make it into a pin that way. Cool. I like it. Yeah. Colleen says, I love how you work. You get your fingers into all the media. Me too. Who needs brushes? <laughs> hey, Michelle, how are you doing? You guys make me feel so good. We're I'm very hands-on here. Yes, <laughs> for sure. I had such a rough start. You know, I, I think I even said, I wish I had, and it's like, I don't know why I'm even doing this anymore. That's so negative. You know, I'm doing it because I still can. Why not, right? Why not? So I'll just move this off of here and get rid of some of this stuff. But that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to do some of the fun stuff of putting them together, and we'll see how far we get. And if there's still more to be said, then we shall say it next week. And we'll go on till we get it all covered. But yeah, before I leave you today, I just want to mention a couple of things that I've got to do. i got to do the business of things because I've got to make a living. Um, first of all, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Now, you guys have probably already all of you done that. But when I say comment, what I need is like you're commenting here in the live feed, and I love that. But not everybody can see that. So what I'm talking about is underneath the video where it says comments. If you could leave me a comment there, it helps us a lot. Because when YouTube sees that and the likes, they say, hmm, people must like them. And what they'll do is they'll show more of our stuff to more people. And we need that. So, But I can't do that. I can't even pay money for that. That's something only my friends and customers and viewers can do. So I have to always tell you about it. Please don't forget us. Please do that for us if you don't mind because it helps us to keep going. So we need your help with that. Anyways, so, oh, I'm there. You just love me. That's all. <laughs> Did you show them the bobby pins again? Um, oh, yeah, somebody wanted to see what these bobby pins look like on the back. These are the bobby pins. Um, these are the bezel ones. We have two different kinds. Yeah, they're, they've got, like, 
don't know if you can really see that. I'll show you tomorrow when I get some of these out. That was another thing that threw me because I was looking for this very one and I was not. Oh, well, wait a minute. What's this? Durr. Seek and you shall find. We have the bezel one and then we have the flat. This is the one's a bezel. But this is the bezel. It reminds yeah, me of a about, frying it's pan. About a well, it's, it's about a 12-millimeter. 12 12 we have them in the gold and the silver. And these are made so nice. The plating is really good. The plating is super good. And it's very secure. Some of these I've bought before. This part will just bust off, you know. This is not going to do that. These are really, really good quality ones. Um, we have some on the site. I have another package coming probably by Wednesday, and I have I will have another one probably by the following Wednesday or something. So that's when I'll start uh, packing these up because I'm going to give you a nice selection of these things, you know, enough to work with and have fun. And those those stick pins and things will probably end up selling at cost when we're done because I want you to have enough to really play with. I want you to really get in there and play, you know. I want to send you a little bit of these frosty flowers, although if you want a bunch, you can go on the website and buy them. I do have them on the website for sale, so, you know, they are there. I'll send you some of these um, uh, pieces here. Now, I may not have the hearts because they're sold out and they can't send me anymore, but I looked in my back stock and what I have is I have a lot of these and they will work just just fine. Um, they go like that. And what you can do is you, you can see if I got okay. See if I got it right here. Okay. So say you've got this gingerbread piece and you want to make a medley looking stick pin hat pin. You can glue this thing right in there and then go through it like a bead. Put your stick pin right through it. And you're good. Let me see. Can I see if I can take this hair part and use it for? Okay, so I'm going to slide this on here. Okay, and you could just take and glue right over that. Ah, where's your? Goes like this. You can glue right over that. Have that on your stick pin that way, or you can do a little filigree, which I prefer. I like a light, airy look, but I grabbed this because it was here. Um, but, you know, it just shows you this This will be a good pad for that. And then we have some, uh, I think they're 20, 25 millimeter circles right here. And they work the same way. So, you know, you'll have plenty. In fact, like if you go to use this, you say, oh, that's not enough space for me anymore. Put a, put a filigree or something on it. Or put a blank of some kind on it. And then glue to that. But this gives you the bead part so that it can go over your shaft and work. Mary okay. says she's going to call and get one. <laughs> oh, okay. Very good. Ghost, that sounds good to me. Whatever sounds good to you. I don't want anybody to feel like, oh, you know. But, yeah, if you want to if you want to get your stuff from us, I appreciate that. That's great. And I'll give you all these little lessons for free. How about that? I've done that a little bit lately. Instead of charging for the lessons, um, I haven't. In hopes that people will go buy something to make it worth my time. Because it takes a lot of time to pull this together. Um, and today, I apologize, guys. I'm so glad it was free today because I don't think I did such a great job. But I think till we hit it the second time, um, it, came it, it, it came around. You yeah. know? And I, got, I got accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Does anybody have um, a question of some sort about it? I know I haven't seen all the, I don't think of, can you roll through the, I've got sticky crap all over my hands. Mm -hmm. green, I think they were just, time. oh, what's oh, what time tomorrow? tomorrow? 4 p.m. EST. Yeah, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, Ohio time. I love that. Yeah, oh, that's, I love that elephant. You made stuff out of it, I think. Mm -hmm. They're loving the elephant. Yeah, we have a good many of them still, too. And Dara you know, ordered the flowers. And you she know, can't wait to try. And you know what else? Um, we have that peanut butter cat. That is in bone carved. That is the perfect side. <clears throat> that is the perfect size to put on a stick pin. And I had one sitting here, of course. Now I don't know where it is. But tomorrow I'll be organized better. I'll clean all this mess <laughs> up. I'll have it all straightened out. And we'll all do much better with it. How's about that? 
You could probably do like one of our resin roses and stuff too. Yes, you don't have to have the porcelain rose. You could do resin rose, you know, whatever. Buttons. Paper roses, ribbon roses, buttons, buttons. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, so many things. But in your kit, I'm going to give you a lot of things to like um, get your juices going. You know, maybe stuff you didn't think of that might could work, you know, kind of thing. Like I was just thinking like right now this has been hanging here. And there are these, we have lots of these too, these real pretty um, acrylic leaves. Leaves. Mm -hmm. Now, they're already colored. Yeah. Uh, this was a video that I did. Um, but I did a little bit of uh, Perfect Pearls over top, and then I sealed them. These would look so pretty. We did have some that were, um, like, the frosted, but I think mm, they're pretty much sold out. Oh, really? Because yeah. I had a lot of them. Yeah. Okay, so see, can you get a little bit of an idea what this might look like on here? Like, I could make a little, you know, f some flowers and a couple of those. It's just hard to tell. I got too much stuff flipping around on here. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, could be cool. I'll just have to do it. <laughs> you can see. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go because I know you've got things you want to do tonight. And I do too. I've got to go make some. I'm going to make vegetable beef soup for dinner. How's that sound? Come on over if you want some. <laughs> <laughs> you might actually have people show up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a great cook, but there are certain things I'm known for. My, beef, my vegetable beef soup is very good, and my chili is amazing. I would just your tell stuffed you pepper soup. My That's stuffed what pepper soup about. is very good. And your good. brownies. My brownies are killers. Because she puts that. a ton of frosting and candy all over. Yeah, yeah, they're killers. Not <laughs> something I can eat anymore, but anyway, they're killers. And one more, oh, my coffee. I make some of the best coffee you will ever have. No kidding. <laughs> hey, there's Phyllis. Love those pins. We appreciate your support and love for us. Oh, I appreciate yours too, Phyllis. I appreciate all the nice orders you've made. And I hope that you've had fun with the things that you've bought. You need to try one of these. You're going to like it. But anyway, yeah. So leave me a like and a comment. And a comment. And subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Um, I've told you about the um, kit. Yep. Um, but we also have everything individually on the site if you want to well, go and pick out your own thing. Yeah, I don't know if it's everything, but a lot. Mo most we have of a it. Lot. Most we of it. We have a lot. And then um, I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. But you can... Um, the main components, like the yeah. hearts, the acrylic flowers, the the hat pin mm -hmm. shafts. Hey, Christine, how you doing? All of those we have on yeah. the site. So if you want to order one from me today, I will be on, off and on. I'm going to be working, but I'll be off and on. So if you want to contact Brenna Sue Lanza on Facebook, you can, or Bisu 1441 AOL. That'll be uh, my, AO, my email. Um... They can call probably tomorrow would be best because he'll be. Jordan will be here too. Be here to, to process To get the it. phone. Yeah. If you want to call. Yeah, but I mean, if you need to call and ask a question or something, go ahead. You got my number. You know where I am. That's yeah. why I'm here. And again, it's fifty seven so, ninety five, and that includes the shipping. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll be sh I'll be doing I'm doing a pre sale. I'm taking the money now, and then I'll probably be shipping them in a couple of weeks. So they may not get there before christmas but they'll get there probably by the week after and that might be just as good be ready for you to do your cabin cabin fever projects be ready for the new year we have that uh you know jump that, start that, that that thing that goes on with a lot of us where we kind of get cabin fever you know we need projects so i'll have to be coming up with some new ones all right i'm gonna let you go guys thank you so much for coming back thanks for coming and spending a little time with us you're wonderful we'll see you tomorrow Hold up with me yeah we'll be back at four o'clock p.m tomorrow eastern time friday 4 p.m eastern time friday and i think that's the 